Okay, so hopefully you all got my email that showed you how to log on to Canvas. Now, once you log on to Canvas, you're going to see your home page. Um, if you didn't see it before, you have your dashboard. Okay, and I'm in student view, so it's going to deny me access, but you're going to click on to Mrs. Baker's your music classroom. Okay, so once you're there, what you're going to do Okay, so hopefully you all got my email that showed the video that showed you how to get onto Canvas. And once you have got onto Canvas and you click on your course, for some of you will only have the sixth grade course, you will see, and I'm going to go into what's called student view so you can see what it looks like for you. You will see the home button and some of you will see upcoming assignments and other ones will show um, just recent activity. All right, you have an assignment and it's it's um, accessing Canvas. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your assignment. So you can actually click here on assignments and it'll take you to it or you can just be at home. It's the same regardless of whether you click home or assignments. So let's click on assignments then click on accessing canvas this is your first assignment now I know for some of you this is your first time so it'll be a little bit tricky so click on accessing canvas and what it does is it shows your assignment it says hey all just wanted to get acquainted with canvas please click on the link and log on to canvas please respond to the assignment by typing your first name followed by got it for example and then I wrote my name, Jimmy Baker, got it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link and it'll take you actually to YouTube. And I created this really embarrassing video of me speaking to you. In the future they won't. Okay. So anyway, there we go. In the future they won't. And we're just going to pause that right there. Okay, now you're going to have to click back into Canvas again. And then what you're going to do is you're going to submit an, your assignment and you're going to do a text entry. Okay. That's the only option you have. So then you're going to write, got it. And then you're going to write your name. Simple as that. There you go. Click submit and your first assignment is done. How easy was that? All right. There will be more. So just hang in there and just keep coming to here and clicking on your assignments you can click on your grades let me show you your grades okay so it says right here that I turned in my access canvas and score it says I got a T which I'm not sure if that just refers to the fact that I'm the teacher or if I haven't graded it yet um, and then it shows me what I got out of five okay so and let's go down the rest of these so you can understand how to access all these other things we have people and this will show all the people in the classroom and you can actually click on their names and email them please don't abuse the opportunity to email your friends if you're gonna email them make sure it's something that is gonna brighten their day and that it's needful because at this time we're going to have a lot of emails coming into our files so make sure that we're not just using it to feel like you want to be silly all right so files just lets you see all of the things that I've posted onto the internet all right syllabus I don't have one of those yet but basically the syllabus will have all of our assignments and it'll have information that um, I expect you to be able to do and adhere to. All right, outcomes. This one's kind of fun, and I've been working on it a lot, and there's not a lot there, but this is basically what the standards are and what I am supposed to teach you before the end of the year. So if you are curious about that and want to see what the outcomes are and what you're supposed to be able to do and know by the end of the year, you can click on those. Conferences, access denied, probably because I'm in the teacher student view. 
collaborations, probably access denied again, yep. Okay, and Nearpod, if I have any Nearpod lessons, which I probably will do eventually, you'll have some right here. And then also you can access your Google Drive from here as well. So if you have any questions, you may email them to me. You may, um, you may give me an email or just a quick um, note that says, hey, I'm not quite getting this. So, okay, the other thing is you can also email through this thing called inbox right here. And you can check your inbox. And let me get out of this student view so that I can show you. All right, so here we go on inbox. And right here, I've gotten some emails from Haley, and there's some from Murren, and there might be a few other ones from people that um, I did get one from another person. This one says there's three of them. So anyway, it's there's a lot of things on there. Um, so you need to check and see if you have any emails. Okay. All right. Um, let me know how you're doing, and I will definitely have assignments on there. So please come back regularly to check and make sure that you have assignments. They will also go to your email to notify you that you have an assignment due. So have a good day, and uh, we'll look forward to teaching online, and can't wait to be able to hear your voices again. Have a good day.